Bob Walker was my best friend. He was an incredible activist that had everything to do with the preservation of this landscape around us. And he died in 1992. He had an incredible career that lasted just 10 years, from the time he took a pivotal photo to the time he passed away in San Francisco. Bob Walker was a gay man who arrived in the Bay Area just after the Summer of Love in the early 1970s. He drove from Oberlin College and came over Altamont Pass and immediately fell in love with the Bay Area and the central Green Hills. He got to know the East Bay because he had a dog, appropriately named enough dog. The East Bay Regional Park District, a lot of the parks allowed dogs. It was a lot more amenable than other places. And so he started coming out here a lot. When he got a car, he came out even more. And he would come back from all these trips talking about these incredible places, including Morgan Territory Regional Preserve, his favorite place. Finally, one day, a friend said, you really need to be taking pictures of these places. And he gave him an old beat up uh, used camera and Bob Walker started taking photos. In 1982, he had a pivotal experience. He was out here on the main ridge, what's now called Bob Walker Ridge, and he looked out over the landscape. It was a stormy, dark day, and it looked like if he got into position um, in the right place to take the view over here of, uh, uh, of these green hillsides, that he might be able to catch the light coming through the clouds and crossing that landscape and lighting it up uh, in some way. He said it was the first time he really envisioned a photograph before it happened. And that became Winter Storm Over Marsh Creek. It was the first photo he ever won an award for it. And it was part of this landscape that he had fallen in love with. So when, after figuring out the landscape out here, he found a for sale sign on one of the entrance roads on Morgan Territory leading up onto this, this side of the, the stream and the road, he was worried. He was worried that it might be affecting his favorite landscape. He figured it out was the Mar that it was the Marshall property here with the big, beautiful central green hills here. Um, and saving the Marshall property became his, his first major bit of activism it turned him into an environmentalist. So in the true form of desperate activists, not knowing what to do to try and save this thing that he cared so much about, he started doing everything he could. He started talking to everybody he could. He started talking to environmental organizations. Finally, someone said, you need to talk to Bob Doyle, the head of acquisition for East Bay Regional Park District. And Doyle basically said, um, hey, I love Morgan Territory as much as anybody, but it's in the middle of no one, where no one goes there, nobody cares about it. And if you want to convince the board of directors of East Bay Regional Park District to help save that piece of property, we have very little money. Um, then you've got to show them that there's public support. And he did. Walker joined the boards of several conservation groups, including Save Mount Diablo. He also became chair of the San Francisco Bay chapter of the Sierra Club. He led dozens of hikes to build support for the purchase of the Marshall property, which was approved by the East Bay Regional Park District Board in 1986. But that success was only the beginning. He could now see that connecting the lands between Mount Diablo State Park and Morgan Territory was a top priority. To help make it happen, he worked to increase the funds available for park expansion through Measure AA. The Park District had noticed Walker's talent and hired him to create what became its first collection of professional photographs. The pay was low, but Walker wasn't motivated by money. He was an artist on a mission. To involve the public, Walker said, you have to make each of your pictures more spectacular than you might see on the most exquisite day. Otherwise, you'll never convey even one-tenth of what it feels like to be out there. He often shot at dusk, what he called magic hour, when light comes in at a low angle and shadows are long. The effect was stunning. According to the Bay Guardian newspaper, his landscapes conjured up the style of the old masters. With his portfolio growing, 
Walker started giving slideshows. He stood before county supervisors, business associations, Boy Scout troops, just about any group that would listen. He told the story of iconic California landscapes at risk of runaway development. And it's been said about him by people who've studied his work and, and compared it to other photographic traditions and other activists that Bob Walker's greatest art form was the slideshow. It's very clear that perhaps within 10 years' time, there will be no more open ridgelands surrounding any of these communities. If we simply go through with plans currently contemplated, we may very well end up like areas here in the Bay Area that have seen most of their open space vanish. At Morgan Territory and beyond, he convinced the public they needed more parks. So when Bob Walker took Winter Storm over Marsh Creek, that first seminal photograph that turned him into an activist, almost everything in the landscape here was threatened. Halfway up Mount Diablo uh, was the Mount Diablo State Park, but all of this was private land. And in the next 10 years, he helped bridge a gap five miles from Mount Diablo State Park all the way here in a hopscotch square mile corner to corner puzzle piece jump across the landscape in what became the Mount Diablo to Morgan Territory Regional Preserve Corridor. It was heady, it was intoxicating. In only 10 years, Walker had become an award-winning photographer and an environmental leader. But now his health was failing due to complications from HIV AIDS. And then in 1992, uh, in August, the East Bay Regional Park District, knowing that Bob Walker was in very bad health and, and didn't have long to live, um, in August 1992, they named uh, Bob Walker Ridge after him. He was at the ceremony. He said it was the, the biggest honor he had ever received in his life. He died a month later. Um, and we held a memorial there. Everyone hiked out or was shuttled out to the spot. And then the East Bay Regional Park District helicopter came flying in and scattered Bob Walker's ashes over Bob Walker Ridge. 